if you look out into your garden and think that there's no colour there at all during the winter or even shape or structure in the summer, you can add in some really good evergreens. This particular one is a beauty. It's called Euonymus White Spire. And the term spire is just the nature of its growth. It grows in a column. And you've got this lovely column shape that grows up into a border, about 40 centimetres tall. So if you want something to have a bit of an upright effect next to something that's more of a rounded bush or grass-like to the left, it really delivers. Good in a container too, maybe outside the front door, and then you can plant some geraniums around the outside. And when the geraniums finish, you can plant some winter flowering pansies, but you've got a good backbone of a permanent plant in the container to give you structure. And just look at the little foliage. Lovely white outer part of the leaf with a green center why it's called white spire. A lovely little plant to give you colour in your garden every day of the year. Here's a plant that'll give you colour in your garden all year long. It is in fact a Osmanthus. It's Osmanthus tricolour, meaning three colours. You may only have spotted two just here, the gold and the flecks of green within the foliage. It's so lovely. But when new foliage comes in spring, it's deep burgundy, so you get the burgundy colour and the green and the gold, and hence the tricolour. It grows up to about one and a half metres by one and a half metres, so it's a good backbone shrub to have in the garden. And of course, you get lovely flowers that come along with this as well. So it's a really good plant to have in the garden for colour all year round. You get foliage interest and you get flower interest too. It can't be bad. Now this evergreen is called Nandina domestica. It's pink blush because during the autumn, the winter, you get a lovely blush of this, this really subtly pinky red colouring over all the, all the foliage and it's evergreen so you get effect all year round. It goes into quite a nice mat about you know a metre by a metre in size. It's one of the sacred bamboos, slightly shorter version than the, uh, the taller, taller varieties. But you get this nice foliage this beautiful effect out of season. It's a great one for wildlife because it's quite thick and dense. It's good hiding and, and good habitat for some of the wildlife that visit the garden. But it's a nice plant to have in to fill a border and give you that colour just when you need it, right in the middle of winter. If you're looking for a real beautiful plant to give not only colour all year round, but also a bit of architectural shape and texture, look at this. This is in fact New Zealand flax formium. This particular one is cream delight, as you can see with these lovely striped margins right the way down the leaf of green, lime green and gold. And this one here is called Joker. Very nice. Look, green with a, a red edge. How beautiful is that? They're evergreen so you get the colour all year round. They do flower as well, but the foliage is the, the main effect and there are many different varieties of formium. Prefer a sunny site. They like it moist but well drained. It's a beautiful plant to have in any border or large containers as well to give some real shape and structure to a border. I love hebes. Now there are big hebes that you can get into the garden, but these are the little dwarf ones. So much colour all year round. All year round you get this lovely foliage. This was called Silver Dollar. How cute. Little tiny leaves with a lime green centre and a gold outer. And this one is called Claret Crush. Who thought of these names? They're brilliant. Which has got this lovely younger foliage out of deep purple with the older as green. And that's the colour you get all year round. Now of course you get flowers as well, which is a real big, big bonus, especially for the bees and the pollinators. They love them. But you'll get this foliage every day of the year. So it's great as a front border plant. And because they're small and quite compact, they make good container plants as well. So if you're planting up some annuals and you want a backbone of an evergreen plant to stay in the container, and of course you change the annuals as you go through the season, these are brilliant. Marvellous evergreens to add into your garden, into borders or containers, and they'll just keep growing and giving you and your bees more and more. Now this is a really giving shrub. It's Eliagnus bingii, gilt edge. You can see a slight gilting 
around the edge of the leaves, this lovely gold with a deep emerald green center to it. It's a big plant as well. So it's perfect to give you evergreen color at the back of a border, something to set as a foil for planting in front. In fact, it's that big and pliable. You could grow it as a hedge. If you're tired of privet or, or beech or leylandii, growing them quite close together and trimming them to shape. But the real classic of this, right nestled in, you know, late autumn, early winter, it has a flower. You never know where it is because it's nestled right in the centre of the plant. It's little white uh, uh, flowers or just off-white flowers. But you'll know the fragrance. You'll walk past and, oh, how beautiful is that? Where's that from? It's from this plant, Heliagnus gilt edge. Makes a very big shrub. Lovely hedge too. Great for nesting for the birds. It gives such a lot and colour, of course all year round. Everybody thinks hellebores are just about flowers in the middle of winter. Not anymore. It's about the foliage too. It's a great little evergreen. This one here is part of a range called Frost Kissed. And let me just say that, Frost Kiss. It's a bit of a tongue twister that. But as you can see, the foliage has got this variegation within it that makes it look as if it's been frosted. And of course, being an evergreen, you've got leaf effect all year round. And of course, flowers just when you need them most. In the middle of winter, when everything's a bit bleak, you wanted the garden to freshen up, you've got flowers and foliage. It's a great underplanter, hellebores as well. The front of a border, I suppose containers as well. And it gives you colour all year round. And flowers when you need them most in the middle of winter. No one likes looking out onto a bare garden during the autumn and winter time, and you don't actually have to. There are some marvellous evergreens. When we say evergreen, we're not referring to them being green because they could be many different colours. The one I've got right here, it's a beautiful plant. It's a variegated holly. It's not quite as spiky as the other hollies. This is called Golden King. Uh, so it's slightly oval leaf, not too spiky, but this lovely green centre, this beautiful gold around the outside. And you get these leaves every week, every day, every hour of the year. But of course, you also get flowers too, which is great for the bees and berries as well, which is good for the birds. Now, it does grow into quite a big bush. It's Ilex Golden King or Golden Holly, as it's otherwise known. And it can grow into a massive bush as a real good statement plant at the back of the border, giving you almost a backbone of evergreen colour. Or you can buy them trained um, to the stem with a little lollipop top to put in containers and perhaps one either side of the front door welcoming you home as you get in from work. But many other evergreens are available. This one is a particular favourite and it brightens up the garden every day of the year.